Morning. I get my my pruder set up here. Hello. <laughs> Yellow. Bonjour. Hey, Katie. Hey, Sinister. Hey, Zach. Hello, hello. What's up? Hey, William. Hey, dog. Why don't you knock <laughs> that off? Good lord. The dog's over here chomping on a bone like no other. I'm sure you guys can hear that, but it is ridiculous. Yes. Hit us up in the comments if you can hear that. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. What's going on, everyone? What's up, IB? How's everybody doing this evening? What's up, knife nerds? Hey, Christopher. Oh, just, you know, nerding around and stuff. Just nerding over here and nerding over there. What's so, up, Michael? I showed this, uh... This uh, Manix 2 that I 3D printed some scales for. So I've spent a little bit of time uh, kind of messing around with that a little bit more and getting them to work a little bit better and whatnot. And so now we've got a little uh, little bench made blue. So we got a Murica Manix right here. And yeah, they, they're turning out pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the way these are turning out. And, yeah, they work well. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. What's up, me? What's up, Jared? Jason? How do's? Ryan? So, what's up, gangsters? Oh, you know how we do. Blood. <laughs> what uh, up? Um, William, Mr. Lenderman, says, uh, I'm digging this new time slot, so nothing else of any importance is going on right now. Um, how about we make this permanent? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I honestly, uh, America. <laughs> this was kind of a twofold thing. I mean, obviously, there's no secrets here. Uh, there What's was up, Reed? there was an open spot tonight, uh, and Molly would certainly like to do this earlier. You all um, know. <laughs> and yeah, I mean that's something you know we've said right from the get go. Um, I was planning on doing some anodizing uh, this afternoon anyway, so then I just kind of last minute decided, let's just turn this in. I'll just do this live. And Fuck it, we'll do it we'll, live. Yep, we're going to do it live, and uh, yeah, it should be good. So uh, this will be a little bit longer. I don't know exactly how long this will go, but I figured maybe you guys would like to check out the whole process here. So we're going to do it start to finish live on screen, uh, the whole entire thing. And so however many people want to hang out and watch and ask questions and whatever, uh, I'm totally down. What's up, just here? So, yeah, you know, I, I figured it could be you fun. Know, shake it up a bit. Yeah, shake it up a little bit, you know. What's so, up, Bama? What? You Guido? <laughs> Guido. <laughs> what up, Lee? Uh... So, yeah, we're just going to... I know you have an earring. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, What's up, Jigso, Todd? Yeah, we're just going to uh, hang out and do some live. and. and... DJ, you nasty. <laughs> what did he say? Something about us doing it he live? He said, you and Molly doing it live? I'll watch. <laughs> Honestly. No, no. No, one, no one wants to watch that. No. I guarantee you. I'm not trying to scar people for life or make people go blind. <laughs> right, right. So. What's up, Chad? So, yeah, you know, you guys uh, just, yeah, you have to let us know how you like, uh, you know, doing some of this live mod stuff. Um, Here's a good uh, Anno question to start off. Okay. Christopher said, why can I get green sometimes and sometimes I can't? Uh, there, There's a handful of reasons for that. Um it uh, a lot of it deter is determined by the the actual grade of titanium. Hey, Brad. And and how much uh, there's a few different uh, metals that are in titanium, like niobium and nickel. Uh, the content of that uh, will greatly uh, affect the colors that you can get out of it. So not all tie is created equal, uh, but uh, also the uh, depth of the etch makes a huge difference. So I've played around and tested a bunch of this stuff. And so if you etch something too much to where, you know, when you're on a microscopic level, when you're etching it, it's actually eroding, uh, you know, a microscopic layer of the titanium. Hey, one and, minute. 
and it's it's creating little divots in the titanium because the different alloys erode at different rates. And so okay. if you etch too deeply, uh, then it throws off and it will not reflect light in a, a wave that will show green. So New power supply? Kind of, uh, but not really. Yeah, I've had this one for quite some time. Uh, I've had this, actually, I've had this one for probably over a year. Um, Has it been that long? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Uh, just a little FYI, I gave my old power supply to Lindy and Richie. Hey, Dan. Uh, so... You know, Lindy and Richie at Knife Modders, uh, they actually have my old power supply. So, you know, all the anno that they're doing. Um, that, yeah, hopefully it's keeping up. Yeah, power supply anno wasn't something that they did prior to that. Uh, they were just doing the, uh, the like, lightning strike anno. Uh, and so, yeah, and, the, you know, those guys are doing awesome work. They got tons and tons of new stuff coming out. So, super proud of them for what they got going on. Yeah, and, I want to send one of my knives to them to do something, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, right on. Uh, yes, Katie, I, I, we did say hi to the fam, the eggs fam, but you must have missed it. They're driving. They're on oh. the road. So is Zach. Yeah, gotcha. Well, keep her between the lines, dirty side down. Yep. Do that. Where are you going? What you doing? You guys going on a date? I, I know where Zach's headed. Where are you going? He's headed home from up north. Oh, they were at the Seahawks game today. Oh, that's and right. And he's headed back home. Yeah, yeah. You guys did a little hopefully, football in, a little preseason in, huh? Yeah, and hopefully um, they don't uh, get stuck in any tiny parking spots. <laughs> uh, Have to do NASCAR <laughs> evasive maneuvers. Yep, yeah, NASCAR evasive maneuvers. <laughs> wink, wink. What's up, Top Dog? Uh, yeah. Joseph, how you doing? He I said, yeah, buddy. I hope they were able to get in and out of the parking spots easily today. I don't want you to touch my knives, BJ. I'm <laughs> sending them to my girl, Alindy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, BJ is also another fantastic knife modder that's in the comment section right now. So, if anybody wants any mod work done, uh, go hit up BJ. I still he haven't can... done it, Katie. I'm still... Working he, up the courage. He he can he can hook you up for sure. Uh, he's got a uh, deep toolbox as well and can do lots of things. So very very cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. So what else is good? What's up, GB? Oh, you know. You know. So uh, should we talk about? So if you guys could have noticed. Um, we have a number of Tucson knives. Uh, say, well, actually, there's a whole bunch over here that are off screen. Uh, these are just a few of the Tucsons that we have uh, around here at What's the moment. What's up, Jordan? How you doing? Uh, um, what are you modding tonight? Multiple uh, things? Or? Uh, well, the one that we're doing, uh, I just thought it'd be kind of cool. So... Um, we are going to do Semper Fi's knife. The, ah. the Anno work on Semper Fi's knife. Semper so, Fi, you up uh, in the house? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I guess before we get to this other stuff, uh, which... Is that another we've 195? Got, we've got some news for you. Uh, yes, this here is a Tucson TS-195. Um, so, we have a $50, $50 uh, patron spot on our Patreon. What up, Cuba? And... And if anyone uh, jumps in and does the $50 Patreon and does it for three consecutive months, uh, then you will receive a knife um, modded by yours truly. Uh, and the way that we do this is we send a questionnaire uh, to them and, and give them some options like size of knife, uh, whether they would prefer like uh, thumb stud or or you know flipper or frame lock versus liner lock uh, or axis lock that kind of stuff uh, and just have them answer you know a handful of questions uh, just to give me some sort of idea on what it is that they are into and what they like you know because I mean I could just pick my own deal and just do it but I would rather give them something that they're into uh, and so anyway, we actually have, I've got this knife uh, that we're doing, we're going to finish up today. I've already done uh, uh, quite a bit of the work, but we're going to finish the anodizing tonight uh, so I can ship the knife out tomorrow. 
Uh, but then uh, we also have another one, which will be a really cool one. And hopefully we're going to get the details of that this coming week. Um, because this knife will be special in a whole bunch of ways. Uh, because the gentleman that's going to get the next one that we do, um, he actually has a handicap. Uh, and so I'm going to do my absolute best to uh, build him uh, a knife that's going to work well for his handicap that he has, which I think is super cool. And mm -hmm. I, uh, a lot of you guys, you well, most everyone, probably nobody in here knows, um, but a really, a really good friend of mine is actually in a wheelchair. Lions. Um, and uh, he, he actually broke his back racing motocross uh, years ago, and it put him in a wheelchair. And um, I built him a couple of motorcycles to where he could still ride and race uh, being paralyzed. Uh, and so I enjoyed the challenge of doing that. Um, and, yeah, we actually, he went and raced X Games and oh, yeah, Leo. Traveled, traveled the country doing that so please forgive me for not knowing names because i suck at names <laughs> someday i'll get it one of these years one but of these it, years it she might get her while. figured out <laughs> yeah so so yeah so we'll you know uh i enjoy the challenge of coming up with something uh you know to to suit the needs of someone that um yeah has a handicap or whatnot and could use something special and so yeah, our plan is, is that we're going to talk to him this week and we're actually going to do a live stream with him so we can get a better sense of exactly what his needs are. Uh, I've seen some pictures of of what he has going on and uh, yeah, I look forward to the to the challenge of, of making something that, that's going to fit uh, and be easy for him to use, which is awesome. Jared wants so. to know if we got the stickers I sent out to you guys, which no, I don't think so. Uh... I don't think, I don't know. I don't no. think so. Not um, yet. Um, but we. Oh, we do have that, that stuff. Yeah, we have a ticket that we have to go and to the post office while they're there and pick something up. So I wonder if that's not them. So we should get them tomorrow or, you know, this week. Yeah, Saturday. We had one package in our post office box on Saturday. Thank uh, you, but, Zach. But our uh, post office box or our, our postmaster is only there. Uh, it's, it's like a tiny, very limited time and it yeah. changes sometimes too. And it's t and it's it's a tiny little post office. Just yeah. one person works it, and she's there, you know, kind of part time on and off. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Todd says install fl a flamethrower on his wheelchair. Everyone loves flamethrowers. <laughs> True that. <laughs> Is the Tucson yeah. TS one ninety a good knife? Uh, the one nine zero. Um, Thanks, Nathan. He I'm said, "Love your channel, good peeps." Thank you very much. I appreciate that. What's uh, up, Mister Taz? I'm, what do you do? I honestly can't remember what the 190 is. Uh, I'm trying to think of what that one is, and I, I'm drawing a blank at the moment. Um, but honestly, guys, like across the board on the Tucson stuff, I mean, everything with the exception of that Manix that you see on screen right now is a Tucson made knife. If you like the design, they're well made. Like, I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, Bama even, said he thinks that's the little Tepe design, the uh, 190. No, no, the Tepe's are the 128, 134, uh, uh, one, uh, 177 is a Tepe. I don't know how these um, guys keep all these numbers straight. Yeah, I don't think the 190 is the Tepe design. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but I, on Sean's stuff, I'm pretty up on all of his uh, models, and uh, I have most all of them. I, I just don't remember the 190 off the top of my head. But second from the top. Second from the top, this one right here. Uh, this is the Tucson TS305. And this is a front flipper, uh, Mazwan Mokhtar design. What's up, Ignition? Uh, it's M390. Hey, Greg. Carbon fiber, titanium frame lock. This one's one, a beauty. 190, one, the 190 is the Night Morning Cobra. Oh, oh, I do remember that one. That one's kind of like has like a little bit of a parallelogram design to it, to the handle, um, if I remember right. I, yes, I, I do remember that one. I want to go um, back to a question. Um, Christopher okay. wants to know, do you use baking soda for electrolyte? We're going to get into all of that. Oh, you're going to get I the don't, deets? This you're is, gonna this get is the empty. <laughs> you're going to get all the info. We're going to go start to finish. 
So I've what got all the stuff there? set out here, and we're going to do it step by step. What's the little bean-looking one with the carbon fiber and S90V? Uh, that one's the 128. Michael loves his 224. Yeah. Did you get a driver to check out? Uh, that's the... Oh, that's the Olight knife, right? The dri Yeah. Not... Uh, and something about that, actually, um, I heard kind of through the grapevine some people saying that that looked like, or, or, or people said that it was manufactured by Kaiser. Um, I have not heard uh, exactly who manufactured the Olight knife, but I'm fairly certain that that's not a Kaiser-made knife. I could, up, I could be wrong, for sure. Uh, but I am almost certain, and I've actually got this stuff sitting here, um, because... The, and, and I don't know who manufactured these, uh, whether this brand is manufactured by, you know, under this name or what, but uh, this company right here uh, with armor, uh, here a little while back, this company did a uh, Dylan Mallory design, which is this one right here. Um, and I'm getting ready to do a little work to this. This is uh, a guy that might be in the chat right now. Oh, yeah, he is in the chat. I just saw him. <laughs> uh, so this is Michael Morgan's knife, uh, and we're gonna make we're gonna change it up a little bit. But I'm fairly certain, looking at the 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 way that the uh, the black uh, G10 is done, and the hardware and all the details on that uh, Olight Drever, I think it's made by this company right here, and the price point fits to a T. So I'm fairly certain that that's uh, what you're looking at is made by this company. Who, whoever did this with armor, whether that's the manufacturer or not, uh, whoever did this knife, I'm pretty sure is who did the O-Lights. Thank you, Big Red. How you doing, boy? What he up, said, JB? Hey, guys, lurking while I cook. He gave us nice. five bucks. He didn't do that, but love you for it. Thank you very much, sir. We greatly appreciate the Jason, super chat. Yeah, Jason Guns gave us a $10 super chat, nine ninety nine. dollars What the fuck is <laughs> Um And he said, I know this is weird, but I came here to hear Walter and Emma drink water. Yeah. By the way, you guys should get ex be getting snacks tomorrow. So he sent us some Japanese snacks. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like Japanese snacks. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, before I go, thank you so much, guys, for, for sending the Super Chats. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and all that stuff goes to, you know, helping me expand my horizons, I guess, with uh, doing mod work and tooling and all the crap that I've got uh, around here. So, knives. yeah, thank you so much for that. Um, but one of the reasons why I busted out a handful of Tucson knives to lay out here on the table is... Uh, we have um, picked them up, and we are now the newest uh, uh, U.S.-based Tucson dealer. Yay! Crowd noises. So uh, we've actually placed our first order, um, and uh, it should be here uh, fairly soon. So we'll, you know, keep you guys posted on that. Uh, but yeah, we'll Winchester, you sell them on our website and, you know, they'll all be in stock. Uh, so you'll be able to get them within, you know, a couple days instead of waiting weeks. Um, and yeah, it, that should be really cool. Uh, we, I, I, and I'm not a hundred percent exactly on how some of this is going to work, but, but we probably will open it up to, to orders as well. So like if there's a model that you want specifically, uh, that we don't have, uh, you know, it's just a deal that you, we, we're probably going to have to wait for it. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, anyway. Um, yes, that's correct, Top Dog. That's correct. New yeah. video on my new channel, and I'm shouting out you guys. Oh, thank you, Leo. Leo? <laughs> Look, I remembered his name. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, sir. I greatly appreciate that. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at names. I really am. Uh that's yeah, so very cool. So we're looking forward to it. You know, uh, I've yeah. had a pretty good relationship with Tucson for a long, long time. Uh, I really enjoy a lot of their stuff. Um, you know, I, out of all the you know Chinese manufacturers, um, they do a fantastic job of of you know promoting and and.
and dealing with, um, well, designers from all over the world, but a lot of U.S. Uh, designers. <laughs> so. And and they also use, they're one of the few Chinese manufacturers that pretty much across the board uses all uh, steel that was uh, that comes from the U.S. So, you know, they just, I guess, kind of uh, further blur those lines. Um, but, uh, you know, in my opinion, they're really the best bang for your buck uh, out there. And... Uh, the quality is fantastic. I mean, they're every bit as good a quality as, you know, Kaiser and Wii and Best Tech and, and all those. And then, you know, the higher end stuff, um, you know, every bit as nice as what Riot is putting out. Uh, it's just that it costs, you know, uh, a quarter, a third or half or whatever, you know, significantly less money depending on what the design is. Okay, I have some things to stop talking. Okay, go. What do you got? I got... Um... Hey, Leo, why don't you let everybody know in the comments what your new channel name is? Because I know he does the knives and the jewelry. Oh, oh, gotcha. That way you guys can actually buy a knife for yourself and, and then... buy some jewelry for you late. <laughs> got it, got it. And then, um... Me with Knives told Michael that he was trying to mess with us uh, when he sent us some snacks a while ago. And I don't know what you're talking about trying to mess with us because those snacks were delicious and I'd love it if you'd send more. <laughs> Justin, eat it them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. They were awesome. I missed out on some stuff. It's so rude. They were so good, though. Yeah. Um, and then... Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this about Poncho, me, but, yes. but I'm a fat bastard, so <laughs> I like snacks. Well, I, I carry mean, snacks in my pocket. Yeah, like we're <laughs> not carry... ashamed. We're we're fat. We like snacks. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, ooh, burn. I, I, I wear cargo shorts just so I can have snack pockets. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Poncho, yes, we we have become a Tucson dealer, and now once we get our first order, anyway. We'll have some stuff up on the website. Yeah, it, I mean, it's official. The order has been placed and all that stuff. It's been paid for, all those things. Uh, we just haven't received it yet, but it's uh, coming. And so we're excited to tell you guys about it. And honestly, uh, if if somebody, I'm not opposed to, like, we know exactly what we're getting in this order. So it's not like it's just a random thing. We know What's up, Kiefer? exactly what the, the, the models are. We know exactly what the... Uh, the quantities are and so if anybody if anyone's interested and wants to uh you know purchase them before they go up on the website if there's something for sure you're looking at i can tell you the first order is pretty much across the board all the latest greatest stuff that tucson has out right now so just a little fyi yeah what up Kiefer? yeah okay. sorry i was running my mouth he, yeah he talks a lot damn <laughs> seriously um it's like dating a girl or something oh gee here we go here we go. Anywho, uh, so Lions, uh, Leo's new web, uh, gosh, channel words are hard. Yeah, at least I can talk. Um, Lions, Ju Lions Jewelry DC. I'm going to punch you right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mock me one more time. I dare you. Okay. Um, I do what I want. Yeah. Nobody has snacks right now, Kiefer. <laughs> so does oh oh somebody had uh, asked about shipping to um, Canada, and we will ship to Canada. I don't really know the rates uh, off yeah, the top we, of my head. I mean, it totally depends on where you're at, but usually it's not more than what like. It just depends on what it is. Fifteen and, bucks or and something. And I uh, I've shipped several things uh, to Canada, and and we're more than happy to do that. Uh, so just send us an email and we can talk about it uh, and we can give you, you know, we'll check out and see what the price is. Uh, here's the email address. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if there's something that you want to purchase off of our website or whatever, or if you want a knife that we have, uh, whatever, uh, I'm more than happy. And, I, and I'm and i fully aware of uh, the Canadian uh uh Rules. yeah yeah kind of there's some gray area there but but i will prep the knife in a way to make sure that it doesn't have a problem making it through customs um so yeah see we'll... justin master of the two sons i humbly bow to you <laughs> that's winchester of course 
Yeah. So snacks anyway, in uh, snacks in my truck, snacks in my backpack, <laughs> snacks in my bed. That's BJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? When we were down at Blade Show, I'm sorry, uh, I'm missing commas, You guys, there's a we, lot going on. We went to the store and you know got some snacks and stuff for the hotel room. Naturally. You know, just so yeah, of course. And uh, and yeah, BJ BJ's snack game was lit. He did not mess around. He had he had gummies. He had like you know like uh, like I don't even remember what he had exactly, but like you know like uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The worms? What the hell? Are gummy worms. Gummy worms. Jesus. Are you kidding me? I'm you just my mind. said you know the gummies. <laughs> yeah, you know the worms. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, I, yeah, the fucking gummy worms. <laughs> I'm special. Do I need to put you in a uh, home? Apparently. But, you know, he had some of those kinds of things and plus some chips and, you know, different things. It was, it was a good mix of snacks. I, I'm i the type of guy where, like, I want I want a graze. I want, like, a little bit of this yeah. and that. A little um, sweet, a little savory, a little yeah. it's chocolatey. Like, it's like eating sour. breakfast. Like, I, w- I want an egg and I want one snossages and I want a piece of ham and I want yeah. <laughs> I want one piece of French toast and I'll eat a, a pancake and a half of a waffle or right. who are we kidding? A whole waffle. Yeah, I'm one pancake. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about if 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 given my all of it. Yeah, I want I want I just want a, like one or two of each thing. Gotcha. I don't want a whole bunch of one thing. Do we have? Well, I don't know what exactly what we have on order right now. We won't get into all those details right now, but um, we'll uh, you know, if you're looking for something in particular, go ahead and shoot us an email. Send us an email. I, I like I said though, all the stuff that we have on order are recent. Uh, drops from Tucson. So yeah. So if if it's something that dropped in the last, uh, you know, a design or a model that dropped in the last like two months, that's the stuff that we ordered. Yeah. So and we can get you know um, a lot of the stuff, but you know. Yeah, we can get anything. It's just uh, this is just our first order of what we got, and you know, we want to feel out the market, things like that. Yeah. Um. Congratulations, Tim. That's awesome. Getting back to work on the seventeenth. Hell yeah, boy. Right on. We are. I'm drinking. Who's water. that monster? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sweet. I'm nice. Keeper. I'm drinking water. Justin's drinking coffee. We are lame. We yeah. Are, we are not those fun beer people. Yeah, we don't drink that often, really. Uh, like Sometimes, alcohol, but it's rare. Yeah. It's just it's just few and far between. Yeah, we're just you know. Uh, speaking of monster, did you get the box for your boy? That, uh, yes, he did. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, and right his on. son loved everything, so I'm so Sweet. glad. Bugsy, nice. how you doing? Um, hot sauce. What up, yes, Corey? We do like hot sauce for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You just got to Wally World. Enjoy. I went to Wally World two eggs. Yep, that happens. Um, thanks for the info regarding can No prob, Todd. I'm sorry, I'm just catching up here. Please don't spell. Like you say it on the shipping label, it will get lost. Please. Don't spell what, Jick, so I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was a lull statement, but I'm not following. That's okay, though. Thanks to THC, the snacks I am at a normal weight for my height. And, well, hey, you do what you gotta do, boy. That's right, that's right. Um, EDC snacks should be elk jerky. Oh, I bet elk jerky is delicious. I've I, never had it. Oh, I've, yeah, no, I've had elk jerky and is it is good? delicious. Yeah. What's up, Randy? I like buffalo jerky. Oh, like, buffalo's good. I like bacon jerky. I like elk jerky. I like deer <laughs> jerky. I like, I like just, just regular jerky. Oh, yes, I'm Sean. Like, good. You got the smock. Good. Wonderful. I'm like that dude from, uh, from, uh, what's up, what is it, Forrest Gump. Knifology. A shrimp. Shrimp scampi, shrimp barbecue. <laughs> That's how I feel. I like shrimp. all the jerkies. They're amazing. Um, I'm, 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 I'm snack champ. All right. Zach says. I'm going to start mixing some stuff up here uh, just so we can get this ball rolling. Uh, so, yeah. Anybody's got anything they want to, you know, email, whatever. There you go. Info at OCD for EDC.com. Mm, uh, I want to go to IHOP. You want to go check out the website, whatnot, and pick up a CME. Uh, I just had some comments, people wondering what, what that black thing was on my <laughs> pair of three. Uh, so, 
Yeah, go check those out on the website. Winchester. We greatly appreciate it. I will talk to him however I choose. He said, do not talk to my Sifu in such a tone. It's a privilege to be in his presence. <laughs> if, yeah. If there are any privileges in this household, it is him having me as a wife. Okay, so to start this off. Um, I hope you're cooking something good, Big Red. What what you're going to need uh, is one to two uh, tall... I use these two glasses. These are from Dick's Last Resort. Um, nice, Kiefer. But these have turned into my Anno glasses uh, because they're... I don't want to burn a tremendous amount of fluid. Um, so they're really uh, narrow, you know, and so they work well to stand, you know, knife scales up in here without uh, just wasting a tremendous amount of distilled water because all of this is going to be filled with distilled water. And these two containers right here, one of these has uh, just straight Windex, and the other one has just straight uh, simple green. So we're going to get into that in a moment. Uh, but first things first, what uh, we're going to do... Gypso Canada. Yeah, I won't oh. spell it wrong. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Um, it's okay. So here's what we got. You need some sort of a colander. Uh, to insulate so you don't ground out to your bowl, but your bowl needs to be conductive. Winchester, okay. hold on. Okay, what's Boy up? Boy's being nasty. He says he likes hand jerky, too. You shut your <laughs> mouth. You don't talk uh, like that. We're, we're okay. pure. <laughs> so this is just uh, literally a stainless steel cooking bowl uh, awesome, that Tim. I blasted the interior of uh, just to <laughs> uh, it just increase the surface area. Uh, and get good, complete uh, electrolysis going on. And then I also have uh, this uh, piece of, uh, this is actually Thai foil. Uh, and <laughs> I actually clamp my ground clamp right onto this. Now, you don't absolutely have to have these parts, um, but this is how I do it, just like this. Nice, lavender. I cut one handle off the colander, uh, so it sits down in there. Uh, and then this handle... It works out well because this handle will protect or insulate uh, my negative side of my clamp here when I set it down so I don't end up touching it or grounding out as I'm doing things with a knife scale or whatnot. So that's my setup right there. Uh, it, you don't have to have a setup like this. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this. Uh, but <laughs> the main goal here is, is that you're going to fill this up. This is actually your your electrolytic solution that you're going to mix up in this bowl here this is where the color actually happens so yes, we're going to show that off wait jester <laughs> so anyway um so first things first if i try this will my house burn down most no. likely no uh well unless you screw it up real bad um uh, <laughs> which i hey don't take any advice from me you do you um but, uh, so this is the Glacier Mist distilled water. Uh, this is Menard's brand distilled water. They come in boxes of three gallons. If and you they're don't like have a buck 80 for if three you don't gallons. have Menard's, yeah. that's a dang shame. Yeah, because you can't save big money at Menard's. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, actually, first things first, I'm going to uh, just put distilled water in these two glasses. And I'm going to fill them up... Uh, Basically, just just enough that they'll it'll cover uh, you know knife scale standing vertically in here, and uh, for this <coughs> oh, oh excuse me actually uh, I'm just going to use one of these uh, because we're just doing one knife. Uh, generally, I, I use two of these because I do a whole bunch at one time, uh, but we're just going to do one for right now. So I'm going to set that off to the side, and then I take the distilled water and thank you blades go in this bowl and we want to go <laughs> you know about half full or so we want to make sure that once our colander is down in there uh that we have enough fluid that that our parts that we're going to anode can be completely below the surface of the water we okay? don't care what bill nye says we do our science the way we do our science <laughs> yeah yeah bill bill nye's not even a scientist yeah bill nye's just the... yeah fun fact did you guys know that yeah, He's well, not I, even yeah. Yeah, that's scientist? not even a joke. That's real. That's facts. Did you cut this with some scissors? Uh, no, I cut it with uh, a cutoff wheel, I think. 
my menards yeah i just i just cut the plastic mm-hmm. you know with like a cutoff wheel uh Genesis. so it sets down in there all right so now we've got what's uh, up gp distilled water now <laughs> nye is a tool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you're not wrong <laughs> right yeah the guy's not even a true scientist it's uh, it's unbelievable it's he's false a, advertisement he's a fraud yeah so here is literally you know, literally just arm and hammer baking soda. Nothing special. You can see this is a Sam special here. 15 pound resealable bag. This will, you can give this to your children. Um, <laughs> this will you last. You can also give this, this, 50 pound bags of flour. <laughs> yeah, this will, this will last like four lifetimes. So uh, just a little FYI. <laughs> I, I think I've used like uh, 0.15 of one pound here. Uh, but I got 15 right. pounds. Just so you guys know. But honestly, <laughs> this is cheaper than buying like the little box at the store. Yeah, this so, will be in our estate when yes, we die. <laughs> yes, this will be in our estate. So, um, and so we're going to do just like an O heaping uh, tablespoon. And I don't know if you got, yeah, okay, you can see that. An O heaping. Uh-huh. O heaping tablespoon of baking soda in the water. And then. Uh, right, now. Now, the baking soda will work just on its own for the electrolytic solution. But <laughs> Todd. I also use a little bit of TSP and, and just a little bit. Uh, this is a hard surface cleaner. Like peop- You can get this at the hardware store. Molly, yep. tell them. Save big money at my Nard. Mo- and also Ace Hardware. M- Molly used to manage a hardware store, so she's all up on the TSP. Yep, it's a if you're painting a room, 10 out of 10 wipe down your walls with TSP. If it's like nasty, especially in your kitchen, you got to do it. Yeah. So this is not an O heaping, but just like <laughs> got filling it, the bottom of the tablespoon. And that's it. Just like so. Oh, there's... um. And then there's, tips and tricks of the trade. There's a very special uh, flamboyantly uh, homosexual man in our... Um, our chat. Oh, that's got to be super sis. You are correct. <laughs> what up? The Chili's let you off early night? <laughs> Shit, I figured Sundays were busy at Chili's, but maybe not. Nah. Steve wants his baby back, baby back. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Yeah. All right. So uh, this right here is, uh, this is the best whisk in the ever uh, for this type of situation. I'm going to show you why here in a moment. This is, I'm pretty sure Steve or someone like him, you know, uh, this is a kitchen utensil. Hey, Lone um, Wolf. But it's like a shake weight. You know, you jerk this thing off and it spins the the deal. So hopefully this will fit under my camera here. But here have, you go. Have you seen a difference so, without, with and without using TSB? Yes. Uh, I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But check out this action right here. So if, as I jerk this thing off... Um, it, it <laughs> blends this, uh, mixture just per, it's amazing how good this thing works. Steve says he's got his Amigo cover in the grill for five minutes. <laughs> nice, nice. Julio, <laughs> do we all allow this kind of guy in here? <laughs> you know, yep. it's, it's trying, but he means well. <laughs> he means well, yeah, yeah. You know, it, yeah, it's like, it's just one of those things. Whisk or S and M toy? It's a whisk. Boy. I mean, it serves both functions. I mean, depends on what you're into. I mean, you just gotta keep your hair short. Yeah, yeah true that. Ouch. Yeah. So anyway, this thing does love a- your stroke method. Oh, dude. Christopher. Oh, you like that? No, huh? stop huh? it. We're not gonna get weird. <laughs> okay. You fucking weirdos. All right. So there we go. There's our. Uh, here, you wanna take that? Put that in the sink over there. <laughs> Bama said, speaking of balls, I just hit myself in the nuts pulling up an extension cord. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad I missed there. I'm sorry I missed it. Right. Okay, so now I Hold drop you, my you. little uh, tie foil in there and then put that there. Put my colander in, and like I said, the way I've got mine set up, I you know protect that just so I don't ground a knife scale out or something on the ground cable. Uh, but there you go. There's that's it. That's all of it. And so now this is ready to he do the anno work. You should have spit on that first. <laughs> okay. In. So this right here is the uh, uh, simple green, and of course the one that I set my 
power supply on. I didn't think that, that through completely. Yes, Dan. There's definitely something wrong with you if you're around. All right. Uh, real quick. What's so up, I'm going to set this off to the side for a moment, and we're going to deal with this. Uh, like I said, this is just straight simple green. That's all it is. There's no, I didn't dilute it at all, so it's just the full concentrated simple green. What's up, Shane? If I didn't already say so, silicone works best. All right, so here is uh, some rubber gloves. And what is simple green? It's a degreaser that you can also buy at your local hardware store. Yeah, I would recommend, like, if you're going to do this, go to Sam's because you can buy all of these items at Sam's. Uh, well, other than the TSP. In bulk. Uh, and and it's, it's way cheaper. So you can get, like, a two-gallon jug of simple green concentrate for, like, six bucks or whatever it is. And you can get 15 pounds of baking soda that you can, you know, will to your children. Yeah, um, and your children's children. Yeah, right. It's a family heirloom at that point. Right. So you want a brick o baking soda? You got it. Sam's six bucks. Yeah. All right. So glove up. Prostate the... check time. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. He checks his own. He's a doctor. Yeah. Well, I've been checking my own for years, son. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Explains a lot. So. Uh, is Semper Fi in here? Purple Power and Simple Green, yep. Yep, yep, Purple Power too. Is, did you, did, you didn't answer my question. No, I'm not listening to you. Is Semper Fi in here? Uh, no, I don't think he is. I have not seen him. Okay, well, so for those that weren't in here earlier, uh, this knife right here that we're going to Anno is for actually one of our patrons, and he signed up for a level where he gets a knife valued at at least $150 uh, that's customized by me. Uh, and that's what we're doing here today. So, so I got all my knife parts in the Simple Green. The Simple Green is just to uh, degrease the parts, get any fingerprints off of them. Now, I'm going to show you what all I did to these parts uh, uh, once we're rolling here. But in the meantime... I'm just gonna clean these up and so I just take a toothbrush and What's up, Triple just e? go over and, and scrub the parts really well. You also add TSP to your wood in wood stove or heat. Cuts cre creosote out of the stack. Oh, that's cool. There I you feel go. like I did hear that at some point in my, you know, hardware history. In your hardware history? It's been a minute though. Molly, be vigilant. Sifu has given an order. Say what? Apparently, I'm I'm supposed to just be um, at your beck and call and. Duh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm <Like>. leaving. <laughs> you know what? No, you get out. <laughs> oh boy. Kaiser Critical Mini is a must grab. Yeah, the Mini Critical is a pretty cool knife for sure. Uh, personally, I like the full size uh, better, but you know, to each their own. Yeah. Um, well, you know, that's why they would uh, make different sizes. Make I different think. sizes, yeah. yeah. And I'm hoping that they bring back the full size uh, because I love the knife. I think it's awesome. <laughs> It'd be really cool if they do it in the 3V like the uh, Mini. I really do do it all, Jason. He says, hooker. Hardware slinger, assassin, yeah. <laughs> Molly does it all. Exactly, yeah. I'm a jack of many trades. Yeah, master of none. Oh, no, I'm a master of all. Oh, you're a master of all. Really? Yeah, yeah he wants to call you Sifu. I'm Master Sifu Beach. <laughs> Whose words to live by, Molly? Should I listen to Sifu? The answer passed down from generations of two sun wisdom. Duh. Feel shame. Yeah, you should. What you carrying today, Justin? Uh, just a moment. I'm grabbing some parts here because I <laughs> forgot the pivot collars for this knife. Triple E says full size knives are bust. I refuse to hit the like button because cool Kiefer. There you go. <laughs> Stick to it. That's right. <laughs> I assume you have I to rise your before honesty. using the solution. Say that again. 
I assume you have to rise before using the solution. It might be a joke, because you know. This got sexual for some reason. <clears throat> this got yes, sexual. Yes, yes. Custom knife for a Patreon. Yep, for a yep. patron. Especially of a sniper rifle, right? All right, you savages, I'm out. Bye, Evolved. Happy you stopped by. Thank you, sir, for coming by. Appreciate it. Oh, somebody put a thumbs a down. Night. Meh. That's cool. Don't oh, care. Yeah. Look at all the fucks I give. <laughs> oh, here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah, show that off. Look at all the fucks here. I give. If you guys can see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. And then, and then this. There you go. Perfect. We'll set that right there. Yeah, for all the fucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go rinse these off real quick, and then we're going to etch these parts, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Yep, yep, yep. Talk amongst yourselves. So, how's it going? Hey, you guys, look at my nails. Um, I did all, and I'm not lying, I did all every single hollow taco I got in my glitter box. All of it. Loved it. I couldn't decide, so I just had to do it all. <laughs> that middle finger looks like at least one fuck. Yeah, I guess technically it really would be, huh? Thank you, Michael. Is that what the fuck octopus is EDC? Yeah, yeah, the e yeah. The fuck octopus carries that. Thank you, Katie. I lost the last fuck I had, ditto. Seriously. You having tacos, G Man? Hell yeah. Or are you jealous cause I got the hollow tacos? The hollow taco. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Beach. It is fire. I just love it. Yes, Greg. Definitely get some hollow taco for your lady. It's like by far the best nail polish without, you know, doing gel nails, which I do sometimes. But, you know, some it's nice to just put on a quality nail polish that doesn't chip off in a freaking day. Oh, Super Steel, he says, I actually farm fucks. This year, drought. <laughs> no fucks will be harvested. <laughs> harvested. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I farm uh. fucks. <laughs> <laughs> See, Justin needs to invent nail anodizing. Ooh, that would be tight. Hey. What? Hold, hold this up at a, an angle for a moment. Let me trade this one for this one. Okay. Go ahead. Set Pink it down. tacos are the best. They do have some pink. Do a titanium. Did you not pick up on that? Uh, pink tacos? Oh, oh, no, no. Personally, I like the hollow tacos. I think it's a play on words. I think they're all talking about vaginas. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Nobody's talking about vaginas. <laughs> I think they are. Oh, you guys. Talking about hollow tacos. Like a taco needs a, bunch a filling. Of fucking 14 year old boys. <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying. And uh, for those uh, Canada people that are in here, I mean, that's where the hollow taco comes from. Well, I mean, that's where uh, it's well, designed the, from. It comes the, from the United States. The pe the people that own it or run it. Yeah, Christine, she's a Canadian. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, so now we've got our parts just cleaned up. Uh, we still have to etch them. Now, just an FYI, uh, this is not just a stock uh, critical anymore. <laughs> uh, the changes are a bit subtle. What's so, up, Chicago? One thing that I did here was I opened up these holes uh, larger, uh, a larger diameter. And I was trying uh, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. So this is what we're rolling with. Um, <laughs> but they have a taper to them. So they're wider on the top than they are at the bottom. Uh, so, and you're going to see why I did that here shortly. Real quick, I personally uh, choose not to call it a taco. I really really enjoy cum dumpster <laughs> so uh the back spacer here i completely rounded this off uh there was it, it did come out square before um and it was really uncomfortable in your hand uh so that i did 
Um, all these parts here have been bead blasted. Um, and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then I've got the blade sitting over here. Actually, it's sitting right here, uh, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, a uh, couple things here. I called it the warden. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Morningstar? How do you do? And welcome. Y'all got your minds in the gutters. I'm trying to be a wholesome lady over here. And you're talking about nasty, no, no ham wallet. That one makes me kind of want to fucking throw up a little bit. <laughs> Don't ever say that again, Steve. <laughs> what, do you say ham wallet? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You meet per oh. You're nasty. All right. So How here are you engaged? <laughs> You need to have a talk with your lady. Here are some uh, stickers that uh, Molly made for me here. And we're going to weed one here. And that's going to go on the inside of... Hey, grab that off there. Tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. Beef curtains. That one doesn't bother me so much. You gotta head out early. We'll see you later, Knifeology. <laughs> Chicago. I'm, I'll read it. I don't know if I even should, but I'm gonna. What? Chicago said um, he has a question. Okay. Is Slicey still a little bitch? Um, <laughs> so... Uh, we actually, uh, had a phone conversation with him yesterday. Pork purse, shut up! Uh, you wanna grab those? Is that all eh, There's oh. one. Um, so we spoke to him, uh, yesterday. Uh, it was actually, a, a quite a long conversation. Let me grab that. And, uh, you know, I feel like it was, um... Good to know, Bama. Good to know. I feel like it was good. Uh, you know, we... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, do you have anything to say about it? Molly was involved uh, in it. It um, was a civil conversation, which it, was yep. uh, good. Yes. Um, and, yeah. you know, uh, you know, the details really aren't... Pertinent. I mean, yeah. nothing new came to light or anything. Uh, so, you know, um, he's doing what he feels is necessary, and that is his choice to make. Yep. Yeah, and it's just uh, kind of, yeah, just that. Uh, we don't need to, uh, you know, just... In the gun world, that would have never happened. In the yeah. gun world. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like gun community on YouTube. Oh. That would have never happened. What? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Let me ask the person. Um. Are you saying, G Ball, that like us mm, having a conversation and talking about it? Is that what you mean? Uh. That. No, just let me word my question. Stop talking. Um, do you mean that would have, like, it, a person would have never gotten away with something, you know, like that, or what? And, yeah, we're not going to sit here and talk this to death, cue ball. We're, we're not going to make our channel all about this every fucking day. Oh, never would have talked on the phone and semi worked it out. I mean, I wouldn't know. I, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, don't make any was, assumptions about the end result. Yeah, I don't know that there was really anything to work out. Uh, um, I yeah, it just. Yeah, I don't know. It's there's there's just a lot uh, to that whole ordeal. Exactly, so. Lone Wolf. It's on him to you know make that right. We just you know. We're at a point in our lives where we didn't want to see people taken advantage of and had heard way too many stories. And it really needed to be come to light. And, you know, we really hope that he makes um, makes it right with 
all of the people that he's uh, had an issue with. And, you know, that, that's it. Like. Yep, there you go. Now we're going to anodize some shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So I got uh, the little OCD for EDC uh, logo on there. Um, and we've got our Windex. Uh, this is good. Uh, our electrolytic solution, and now the only thing left we got to do is uh, etch these parts. Which for this, I got a couple different ways that I etch things. What's up, uh, Lindy and Richie B? This one here, we're gonna. What up, Lindy? Uh, Richie, how's it going? Uh, this one here, uh, just so we can do it on camera easily, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna etch this with uh, Winx Rust Remover, uh, but I also have a product called Multi Etch. Uh, but it requires, you have to warm it up. It's a whole, it's, it, yeah, it's more involved. Uh, but so yeah, we're going to do this. <clears throat> now, uh, hold on a second. I think I got a bottle. So this stuff right here. Wait, why um, don't you talk to me that way, Sean? This is uh, <laughs> the Wink uh, Rust Stain Remover. Um, yeah, it's a it's a drain and septic system cleaner. Uh, this does have acid in it. Um, this is I can't remember if it's sulfuric or I should say on here. Oh, this stuff comes from Eldora, Iowa. I didn't even know that. What's up, mediocre? Uh, How does it not say on here? What up, fam? I don't know it's hydrochloric or sulfuric acid. I think it's hydrochloric, isn't is it? Is it hydrochloric? I is believe. That what it is? Uh, da, da, da. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see it on here. It's some kind of acid. Yeah, there's that, an like, acid. I mean, it's definitely stuff. acid, but. Um, <laughs> You look like a plumber uh, at work, uh, Chicago. Uh, uh, said, <laughs> nice, right? Nice. You should see my crack I got going right now. Oh, that crack, <laughs> though. You're. Yeah. I can't believe it doesn't say on here uh, what type of acid it is. I mean, most uh, most drain cleaners are, are sulfuric acid. Yeah. Um. So, but I'm not sure what all's in this. Question mark. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I, I can't it's remember. Not um, ferric, though. Is it? No, it's not fair. Uh, hydrofluoric. Here we go. Hydrofluoric. I found it. Okay. Yeah, hydrofluoric acid right there. So just going for a dull um, finish. Is that the? Oh yeah, BJ said hy hydrofluoric. There you yep. go. Look at yep. that Hills boy knowing something. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna send you a cookie, little guy. All right. So uh, the wink rust remover, um, you don't have to do it warm or anything. And that's what I've got in this. Uh, oh, wow. The bear ice cream uh, container. And you guys can actually see down inside <laughs> there. You can see that what kind of looks like dirt down in there. That's actually uh, titanium or what's left of the alloys that has been eroded off of parts in there. Uh, so it's actually, you know, eroding a fine layer, a microscopic layer off of the, the actual pieces. And uh, you can see here that these pivot collars are still blue. And we're going to drop these in. And I'm hopeful that you guys are going to be able to see this on camera. But you're going to see these blue parts uh, go gray in this acid. Now, it will bubble and stuff. Uh, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to show this off. Uh, let me get... You want to grab some paper towels over there? Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to drop these right in our uh, cup of, of uh, distilled water when we pull them out of here. And so, here we go. I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm going to put both <coughs> these washers in here at the same time and hopefully we'll be able to see it. It happens pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, keep your eyes on it. It's my crack. You can't have it. All right, you see the color changing, and then they're going to start bubbling. The blue is going away, and now they're bubbling. And I'm going to move them around a little bit. Now, there are uh, very minimal, I mean, there are some fumes that come off this, but it's very minimal. Uh, and uh, 
You just want to make sure you, you uh, move him around slightly. What's up, Mr. Cortez? And you yeah, want to leave him in there? Yeah, town cue ball. For about eight seconds or so. I mean, it depends a little bit on what you're going for. Uh, like but the acid will still be eating away at it, so you want to get them in your water pretty quickly. Uh, but there you go. That's what's going on. All right, so That's we're going to run cute. through these parts real quick, and I'm going to put them in the cup, and then we'll go from there. So I don't know how well you can see that, but when you throw tie that's been blasted and it's already raw, it starts uh, bubbling almost immediately. Bunch of hippies in the chat. What's that? Talking about hitting acid. Oh. Yo. Oh. The good old days. The good old days. <laughs> Please do green. We're not doing green on this one. No. Unfortunately. This is a very specific um, colorway we're doing for someone. But, you know... Yeah. The next time we have the opportunity, we could do another one doing green. Especially since it's such a difficult thing to... There's a lot of variable. It's, it's not necessarily difficult. It's just... Um, yeah, there's just several things about it. Um, What's up, John? I don't know if I said hi. Like, I feel... I know I meant to, but, you know. Yeah, guys. And just so you know, I'm not looking at the chat. So, I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm not ignoring anyone. I'm just not seeing any of it. Can you make spider holes on knives? Yes, yes he can. Yep. He did on this one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I used nine volts to do my anodizing. I am a caveman, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know, and nine volts will work, um, but honestly, for how cheap the power supplies are, I mean, you can buy a really, really nice one for, you know, somewhere between like 75 and 100 bucks, depending on when and where you buy it. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what, you know, 24 or whatever nine volt batteries cost. So, you, I mean, you'd have to have a whole shitload of nine volts to be able to get all the color ranges. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're... Kind of better off just getting a power supply, huh? That's the way I look at it, but, yeah. you know, I mean, teach their own. Yeah, he's getting one eventually. That's highly recommended, yeah. So, uh, Richie and Lindy, how's uh, how's your power supply working out? Do you mod fixed blades, too? Yes. Yeah. Um, no, it's not, it doesn't have bad fumes, really, no. Uh, it it's, does a little bit, but just it's, a, it's, it's very minor. minor. Yeah, for in the scheme of what you would expect. Caress the like button. <laughs> that was sensual. What voltage so, and amp settings? Nothing yet. Yeah, we're, we'll we're get into that. Yet. We're not there yet. Um, but uh, Linda so, said, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Stoop thing. What's that? I don't, didn't you ask? I asked her how the power supply, was it working? Is it good? They use it? Um, so it died a couple months ago. Oh, no shit. Had to get a new one, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Um, I planned it. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> so this, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend, like we just did one knife here. Like when I do this, um, I actually use an exhaust fan and stuff if I use this for a bunch of stuff. Um, but, you know, doing one knife, eh whatever like i'm sure the fumes coming off this are not uh, good for you um but it's also relatively minor not a huge huge thing yeah i wish i was relaxing instead of hanging out with you turds i was joking <laughs> Twice okay <for> rest. <laughs> so now what we've got is we've got all of our parts are in here and they're ready to go we've got our electrolytic solution that's all mixed up ready to go Lindy. and then over here we've got just this is just straight windex uh it's not watered down it's just straight regular old windex what's up 
Somebody said stroke the, um, or caress the like button and stuff. And oh. so everybody's saying dumb shit about caressing it and stroking it. And nice. Lindy says, consider it stroked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what color? We're going to do a blue. That We're going to do a blue there. on blue. We're doing a couple colors. Um, and that's because the gentleman that owns this knife, uh, that's what he wanted. Uh, so here is... They stole my chicken. Oh my gosh. Where's your chicken go? Here is the uh, color chart uh, for anodizing titanium. You can see here, uh, up here above 105 volts, uh, we have opalescent and black. Uh, these are for niobium. What's up, Mark? Um, and so these do not apply to titanium. Uh, but the other colors do. So from 105 volts down to 12 volts, uh, you can see these are all the colors. I don't know how well that's showing up on screen. But that's pretty good. These are all the colors that you can get uh, with titanium and electric uh, style anodizing. And then, uh, you know, there's a lot of gray area here because most people don't consider the actual surface finish, uh, whether it's like a blasted finish or an etched finish versus, a, you know, a sanded or a... a uh, polished finish and and so the, each one of these colors can have many many different looks uh, depending on how you uh, finish the the tie I'd be pissed if somebody so, stole my chicken they stole my chicken I got <clears throat> chickens too bro so what are we doing here we, do you want to do um, you want to do like uh... let me look I don't know I'm thinking yeah what I was thinking was, so so we've got a backspace or a clip and the pivot collars, and then we're going to do the insides of the holes, uh, which is why I made them tapered, um, one color, and then we'll do the scales another color. See, I think the inside of the holes should be like a sky blue or light blue, uh -huh. and then a dark blue on the scale. Okay. I was thinking almost like up in here. For all mean... the parts and pieces, and then somewhere in here for the scales. Yeah, okay. So if we're going to do that, I'd say, like, in here, yeah. Okay. And I wouldn't go that far. I think yeah, I'd so keep it right here. Like 90, 92. Yeah. So okay. let's, let's call it, like, 90 all right. and C, and then do, like, a 28 for the rest. Like, between 28 and 30. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, to start out, uh, we are going to... You know what? I'm just going to... Uh... Grab these parts out of here. What up, BD? You flipping us off? Tight. I'm just gonna uh, set these, the two scales down in here for right now. Oh, Bama, you got uh, you got uh, chickens. Now, uh, one part that is really fantastic to have if you are doing any small parts like hardware and that kind of stuff is uh, a little. Uh, strainer kind of I don't even know what you call this thing uh, but it this has plastic webbing on it so it's uh, you know won't uh, ground out so you can do all the small parts and pieces in here so we can do our clip our backspacer and our two um, pivot collars which all those are going to be the same color so I'll show you that here in just a minute I'm gonna dump this out into this into this uh, strainer He's at the sink now. Negative. You don't, you just get farm fresh eggs. You should try duck eggs if you can get them. All right. So we've got our two uh, uh, pivot collars and the backspacer uh, and the <laughs> clip are all in here. And these are small enough parts that we can anode these all at the same time. Uh, now, one of the things that you do have to, uh, actually, I'll just do the clip here. Hopefully, we'll be able to show this off. Um, so, I'm going to put the two backspace, or the two pivot collars back to back, so we don't have any, uh, if they do arc at all between one another, it's not in a visible area. They probably won't anyway, uh, but we're going to go ahead and... <laughs> crank on the power supply hopefully you guys can see that now on my power supply what I use this is a, a titanium uh, rod that I've just kind of bent uh, a little hook into yep little eye not uh, 
And so, you know, I can, I can hook parts if I need to or whatever. Um, but what we're going to do, so the pivot collar, the clip, and the backspacer, we're going to do a really dark uh, blue color, almost like a blurple color. What's that, Benjamin? So we're going to be up in uh, like 92 volt range, um, somewhere between 90 and 92. Uh, now this power supply will go three <laughs> amps uh, up to 110 volts. Uh, What's up, EP? So, so to start out here, um, we're going to put this down in the water, and I am going to put my probe. I don't know if. What's up, Erwin? Can you uh, here? What you want for me this to do? for this part here? I'm just going. I'm going to go ahead and crank up the voltage. Um, these parts are really tiny, uh, but I'll show you. We'll go through the colors when I do the bigger parts so you guys can see it better. Now they're talking about bent rods. Why would you have to bring that up? Hey. It's like babysitting a bunch of kids. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. All right, so real quick, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, oh, that was quick. Oh, and they went a little teal. Yeah, they're awfully. Yeah, you're going to have to run the That's fine. The color for me. I got you. Or the, the power for me. Uh, so, here's, so here's what we ended up with. Um, they ended up going like teal, uh, which is further than I wanted. And I actually had this below. I had it on, it was 89.3 volts, which should have gotten us uh, 89.3. Should have been like a real dark purple color. Oh, uh, yeah. But it overshot. Uh, it happens. So it, it happens. So bear with me for a moment here. I'm going to have to clean these back up real quick. And then I'll be right back with you. Michael, oh, stop talking about your man bit. <laughs> Kluver said, you have it easy. I'm in the shop building concrete form. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Here, actually. This machine, Benjamin, is a power supply, and yeah, it's being used to... Anodize that so we're anodizing a knife for one of our patrons. So I'm gonna show you something you guys something really cool here um, So just like uh, the colors uh, as your voltage goes up the color like changes uh, from one color to the next when we remove the color it goes the exact same way and so it, it, this happens fast, but you should be able to see these go uh, from this green uh, color, this teal green color, back to gray, and it should it'll go through several changes. So here we go. We'll take a second, and yeah, that's right, Christopher. Some there, time. they're starting to change. I think my acid's getting a little weak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get involved here a little bit. <laughs> Michael Morgan said I was lost at Simple Green. <laughs> Weak acid makes for a boring night. <laughs> Yeah, this acid's getting real weak. Super weak. Do you want another container to no. put new in? Or? No. No, it's fine for this. Okay. They're just taking longer. Why hasn't Steve put a frittata in my mouth? <laughs> right, Christopher? Now he's a washing. Well, he's out and about 
feel free to ask me anything except for about drama. <laughs> EDC Oz, what up? <laughs> Why do I feel like Steve's frittata is code for something? Because it probably is. <laughs> While he's busy, snatch stuff from the table. There's nothing really to snatch. I can't take anything. <laughs> no, not cooking bees. We're anodizing. But um, I know people have asked for us to do a cooking video. And when it gets a little cooler, I will show you all how I make a roast with my Kaiser sheepdog. Oh, yeah. There you go. Do some meat trimming. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll have a nice, easy recipe using a cut of meat that it seems like a lot of people aren't aware you should use, but it's 10 out of 10 the best. Um, what's up, Mad? All right, so All now we've got our, names in here tonight. our pivot collars in here. Um, actually, I'm going to... Hold on just a moment. I'll be right back. What What do you mean? What do I use, Mad? For actually, I'm gonna leave those right there for a second. To make a roast, I use an arm roast. <laughs> Bees, got him. Bees said, "We all know what happens when you make a roast." That's funny. Yeah, yeah. I use an arm roast, and then I always make roast with it and I make extra and then I use it the next day or two to make Italian beef. Some knives may find this roast offensive. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just... Alright, so I forgot to grab a piece of scotch Brite, so I didn't think I was going to use any, but now I'm going to. Uh... I'm just going to clean these pivot collars up just a little bit. Uh, scotch Bright is fantastic. So just a little FYI. Uh, also buy it in bulk at Sam's. Yeah, yeah. The, you can buy this stuff at Sam's as well. And it comes in these big sheets like this. We should be sponsored by Sam's <laughs> Right? Jeez. Absolutely. You can't forget the scotch. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Scotch Bright is fantastic. And you can do a lot with it for sure. Change the look of stuff and different finishes and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And you can get Scotch Bright, you can get the green stuff, which I'm using right now, but you can also get like. Uh, the purple or, or dark brown, whatever color you want to call it. I don't know. It's kind of a mix between purple and brown. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jason, that was. That was Mr. Walter drinking. Speaking of him, he had a rough night last night. We had, like, the craziest um, thunder happen last night. Kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. And that boy was a wreck for the rest of the night. And he's not typically, you know, overly sensitive to storms. But, man, he was last night. Yes. Yes, he was. There you go, cue ball. Exactly. Give her a list. Tell her I'm going to need you to hook it up. His roommate works at Sam's. Go, oh, Zach's a Costco man. Do you got is that all you guys have out there, Zach? Costco works too. We yeah. we just we have both around here, but yeah, Sam's Costco's, is closer. Right. Costco's I mean we would have to go a good forty five minutes away to get to it. All right. And it's just annoying. So Molly. Yep. You're gonna have to run the power here. And this one? Uh yeah. So are I'll you go watching? Slowly and I'll watch. Yeah. So as she's, hopefully you guys can see this. Bronzing. Yep. So we're going bronze and then it goes into some purples and then some blue. 
we're at 45, 46, 48 volts going through the blues. Now it goes into like a gold. Slow down. You're going too. That's I kind think. of purplish. Yeah. You only see the outer. You don't see the inner portion. So that, that a looks. A little further. Well, to me, that looks purple. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hey, Watch right yourself. there. I touched the bowl. <laughs> um, we can keep going and get more of a blue to it. Yeah, that's what we're going for, right? Yeah, I okay. just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Just a tiny, tiny bit at a time. I'd slow down right there uh, and go to the knob below it, and then you can do fine adjustment there. Um, a little more? Yeah, go to 92. going hold that for a moment sure all right hold on a second i want to check these <clears throat> what do you think i think it's cool you like that yeah all right so we're gonna roll with that so it's uh this blue color we're gonna roll with so i'm gonna throw those in the uh, Windex over here, and then we're also going to do the uh, backspacer and the <laughs> um, the pocket clip, the same color. We are in Iowa. All right. So, go ahead. So hopefully you guys can see the color change here. There's a couple different uh, spots throughout the color range where it's like a, it's a drastic change all at once. You know, it goes from gold or yellow. So you're getting pretty close yeah, now. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go too fast. Yeah. Because it's different. Just keep going. So as that bottom number you gets do down to finer. point, no, you're gonna have to go closer. You have to get upwards of around. Yeah, like right there. Ninety-one point six is where you landed. So. Go ahead. Keep going. All right, so you guys can, hopefully you guys can see the numbers on the actual um, power supply. Um, and what's going on here is uh, as we're making these uh, parts here, so we're getting up to right now we're at 91.5 volts and you can see the amperage down here is at zero. Um, as the current draw goes up, this amperage number, you're passing more cur current through the part so the amps go up and as the amperage goes down, uh, down to 0 0.00 or like 0 0.01, uh, that's when the part will be fully anodized um, and you're no longer passing that current uh, uh, through the part. There's no, no more draw. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ditch the, the little... Uh, Booster? Yeah, colander no, thing here. Sink. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I can manage the voltage myself here um but you don't like my voltage oh good luck Jeez. good lord i always turn this down when i'm done <laughs> so he uh has never made so many sparks in all the days <laughs> no i've never done that before ever uh, honestly i don't think i've ever done that once um but you know how long this does... is when it's on live this is what you get so all right here we go. Uh, how long does the anno last? Uh, it totally depends on how rough you are on it and how abrasive. I mean, you can you can you know scratch it off, sand it off, kind of thing. Uh, but just under normal wear, it, it'll last quite quite a long time. Uh, really, just it's susceptible to scratching. Uh, okay. 
Ride the lightning. <laughs> That's right. Morning Star says, really enjoying this. Appreciate the content. Wonderful. We're right glad on. you're enjoying it. Your scar looks like rock and roll. That there, that's a burn from the other day. Which Steve, if he's still in here, he was making comments. He said that that was the culinary god smiting me for making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> for calling him a Chili's cook. Yeah. Uh, that's right, Winchester. This is the only other time Justin's made sparks besides when. Uh, what happened he there? Was um, I was. Uh, outside <laughs> uh, burning some stuff and uh, there was a cheap like crappy thing that uh... alright we're gonna have to I feel like I don't know if I went too far on that one I may have because I, I was know. talking and not paying attention no, to what I, I was doing pretty... oh yeah I think you went a little too far yeah I think so too but here I'm gonna Take care of this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, yeah. So, he got some molten plastic on his arm doing chores. You'll have that sometimes. When you put your pinky in there. Um, don't feel bad. I have ground out so many things and inherently welded something to something else. No doubt. Old dad was a welder for many years, and I'm sure that's happened many a time. What a spark slinging stud. <laughs> Anything? Um, okay. Talking music. Yeah, it didn't. It really didn't, did it? mad like i i thought he might have been right on until he picked up that other piece and it just was not right mugen is wonderful except for he pisses me off because he breaks shit because he's you know a thousand pound cow um but he still loves me and gives me kisses every day walter is wonderful um as always Emma, 10 out of 10, happy lady. And then we also have Mo, the littlest. And he's a whiny beach most days. But yeah. He's a mama's boy, and he just needs constant attention and love. He is a full-blown whiner. It's fucking exhausting. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. What's one? Which one's getting the new dog tag? I don't honestly know. Yeah, I'm, you know, they already have tags, and I actually said during that video, um, but I may do something cool with that and use it as a keychain. <laughs> Old dad might just go ahead and have that. Yeah, I might. All right, we'll see. Yeah. Wait, wait. Am I supposed to believe you have a cow named Mugen? Um, you, you don't, I mean, you don't have to believe it, but it's a fact. We have a cow named Mugen Freeman, actually. Yeah, that's right. And we, you know, call him by his first name, Mugen. <laughs> and he is, a, he's actually a steer. Um, and you can go follow me on Instagram and see pictures of him. Do y'all ever flame anodize? Yep. Yep. I tried and failed. A video would be cool. There's one out there. Yeah. Go search my catalog, and I have a video showing step-by-step step how to do it. Yep. Slow your roll and stop annoying Justin. Shit. <laughs> my first thought was keychain. You, you ever get your shadow from Chicago? My shadow from Chicago. It wasn't a, I don't think it was a shadow. It was a, a Tucson that we were waiting on a while back. It oh. was sitting there for like a month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was the 305. Yeah, it sat yeah. there for longer than a month. Yeah, but it did come. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, I think it would be a cool keychain too. He was thinking about anodizing it and making it a cool chain keychain. All right, so now we're gonna do this part right here, uh, and we're gonna do this the same same color. Uh, and then we're and then I'm gonna show you how we're going to uh, break this down. So uh, break it down now. Yeah. So uh, now a little little uh, tip here as you're doing parts, you can see I've stabbed a hole here. Um, I always try and make contact like in a hole somewhere where it's not going to be visible uh, in case there is a little arc or something. Uh, oh. it, it doesn't really happen very often, but it can happen. That about the time that you're hitting the spot that you care about is when it will happen. <laughs> Thanks, mediocre. But so here we go. Now you guys should be able to see that pretty well, I would hope. Um, you can see that the amperage goes up way higher here when we've got more mass that we're working with. Uh, so the current draw is much, much higher. So you can see we're in a blue color there. And then we're going to get into uh, some lighter blues, and then it's going to go gold. As I work up through the color here, or through the voltages. Where are you going with that? up to the 91.6 oh that's right because then we'll, okay yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah so yeah. here we go into the golds and then from here it'll go back to purple i'm gonna let it sit right there for a moment and let this amperage drop a little bit kind of a cool rose gold yep so you got like a fuchsia color and then like bright purple and then it kind of starts over again and you go back into some blues and then if you keep going you'll get into green All right, we'll let that sit there for a minute. We'll let the amp draw come down just a bit. Make sure that color is set in good. Dogs are crying. That's right. It's just a common occurrence around here. Okay, now we're gonna go into the uh, Windex over here. And then now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to manually remove this color from the face of the scale. And we're going to come back and do a another color on it. And so it'll leave the color inside all of the holes. Okay. Did you um, follow? So, so I'm going to do this. And what the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to use Scotch Bright to do this. Uh, and I'm actually going to. Uh, scotch bright both scales so they both uh, look and will match one another um, and I'm actually going to do that off camera real quick just so I don't get a bunch of uh, scotch bright shrapnel over here but I'll be back in just a moment so talk amongst yourselves <laughs> Shane says Bama if we quit giving you shit about your schmedium shirt will you start making videos again <laughs> so that caught on eh I, I feel like, oh yeah, we getting fancy. I feel like um, I need to donate some properly sized t-shirts to old Bama. Maybe they don't have properly sized t-shirts down yonder. Do you ever paint Anno, old dad? Say that again? Do you ever paint Anno? Like with the brushes? Oh, yeah, sometimes. Um, I don't, I haven't really done it on knives so much but i've done it on other things hopefully you heard that and stuff like that just depends on what people ask for and what they want why didn't we do this in chemistry class i don't know bees because your chemistry teacher well my chemistry teacher was crap too <clears throat> mine was real mean you know who was real mean was my um physics teacher she gave me a write-up 
for not using my time wisely. And I was a good student, so she was just a beach. This is a cool ass live, brother and sister. Don't call me sister. <laughs> it was Bama. Switch to a size small. No. He needs to wear, like, I think he's got a small on. He needs a medium. We are in Iowa. You watch way too much Flossie Carter. Let, let, Flossie Carter, you're not wrong. Thought they only wore wife beaters in Bama, right? Nav, Nav Sergeant? That's true. That itch with the B, right? OCD. Been wanting to try because of a press fit pivot. Yeah. You know, it, it looks really cool, so it's worth giving it a try. I seem to have lost your address, Shane. He lives in the dumpster behind your house, GP. They wear them in Texas, too. Okay. My chemistry teacher was fired mid-year because he had a wallpaper of a girl washing a car in a bikini. Some girl narked him out. That is funny and kind of sucks all at the same time. Okay, so now we got the scales ready to go. Uh, and we're going to come back and do a lighter blue color. Uh, you mean a darker blue color? A lighter blue color. Okay. Or, oh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I should, yeah. yeah. Lighter okay. voltage, I should say. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do like like that 28 volt. 20, 28, yeah, 29 here. volts, somewhere mm -hmm. in that range. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. You agree? Yes, I do. Okay. So, we're going to get rolling here with this guy, and we'll go ahead and start working up. <laughs> Poor Winchester. So, are we shooting, what, you tell me the number, 28? Let's go 28 first. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to see this reassembled. Gonna be fire. Hopefully. Did you start early or I, am I in a time warp? We started early because we're doing some Anno. We yep. started at 7, Hollywood. Mm, thank you, Marco. He said you guys rock. Awesome. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. All right. So there we got 28 volts. You happy with that? Yeah, actually. Okay. So yeah. we're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop that over here in our Windex. What's this stuff floating in the Windex? This, this has been used many, many times. Oh, it's not it's fresh. Just, yeah, no. Gotcha. And it, I need to get some new in there from the way it looks. In theory, if you did many, many anno jobs on a knife while removing it each time, you could affect tolerances, right? Correct. Yeah. I mean, because you are removing a microscopic layer, but I mean, it is... Microscopic. Yeah, microscopic. So, so I mean, you would have to... I mean, you could affect tolerances, like, if you just straight up left it in the etch too long. That's the part that really, you know, actually is removing material. Or, you know, by physically removing it. Like, by sanding or some other mechanical means. I don't know no more, Shane. Clean de lysergic acid dithylamide is amazingly safe. That's cool. I don't know what that is. 
Looks great. Got to take a break. Pit stop. Be back soon. Will, uh, yeah. Yeah, tight. All right. Tight, so tight. here's our other uh, 28 volts. Are we back at 7 each week? Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, and I yeah, we really did th just did this um, because of a few reasons, uh, but one is that we were going to do this anodizing uh, and uh, <sighs> you know, there was we wanted to to fill a void, you know? Like a lot of people uh, took part in stuff that yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, can you anno brass and copper? Uh, not like this, you can't. Um, it's a different thing. You can you can really anodize anything because it's it's honestly just a uh, you know basically changing, uh, changing the surface color. Uh, but there's there's many different ways to do anodizing on different materials. So like, you know, anodizing aluminum is a completely different process versus titanium. Uh, but, you know, like anodizing titanium, titanium and niobium is very, very similar. Uh, I want some niobium because I want to turn it black like that. Okay. See, it's right there. It's black for niobium. Well, I've got a video out there on how to turn titanium black as well. I'd also like to anodize some unobtainium, please. Some unobtainium, huh? Yeah. We got to go on a space voyage. Go to where those blue people hang out? Yeah. I want right to be on. friends with the blue people. Yeah. My OCD. My stainless pot has what looks like a copper bottom. Yeah, pro it, it probably is. Does yours? This one here? Yeah. No, it's got just a... I, well, I can't show it's, you right now because there's stuff in here, but it's got like a gray rubber bottom on it. Yeah. What do you mix with the water in the Anno solution? Baking soda and a little bit of TSP. And a little bit of TSP, just a tiny yeah. amount. Because if you put too much, it'll turn to, like, gelatin. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's pretty fun, too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and wash these parts up real quick, and then I'll bring them right back, and we'll see what we're working with here. Mm-hmm. What about some can obtainium? <laughs> Great joke, Bama. To the east side in a deluxe department in the sky. The blue Andorians? Yeah. Yup. I missed the TSP amount. Just a small amount. Like a pinch? Would you say, or more? Uh, like a teaspoon. That much? I'd like a teaspoon. <laughs> Mr. Evans. What'd you do with those paper towels? Oh, they're right here. Perfect. see yeah it's that's hard to what tell. i want or not so how long does anno last <laughs> a long time it just it totally depends on uh how you treat it um you know if you scuff it up and scratch it up and that sort of thing it won't last very long uh but you know under normal conditions it lasts quite a while Yeah, the Jeffersons were good. What's up, Tariq? How you do? The light here is just really messing with this. With different angles, it looks different colors. Well, yeah, like...
This seems a little darker than this. Yeah. Yeah, the way we baby our knives, it will last a lifetime. No joke. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to re get redo those real quick. Yeah. Yeah, not really. Just up late night and a late morning. What time is it there, Tariq? I can never remember how far off you guys are. I want to anno my Malibu to gray. <laughs> Malibu is aluminum, right? Marco says, I don't baby mine. I use them. Some people do and some people don't. That is for sure. Yeah, it's no doubt. 9.45 a.m. on Monday. Sorry about it. I'm glad it's not Monday here yet. What do you... What do you have on the negative clamp? Just the metal container? Uh, There's a piece of... Like a foil as well. The foil's not necessary, really. I just have that and use it. Uh, but you could do it. You could clamp it straight to the bowl. Yeah. Did you hear that? If not, um, we have a foil, but you don't have to use the foil. Oh, the blue titanium one. One minute said. Bye, Bama. We'll see you back. Later if you on, come. Bama. He's going to come back. Oh. They have an aluminum and a titanium Malibu. Gotcha. Is there a difference between what lasts longer, heat anodizing or electric anodizing? Yeah, I would say the heat anodizing lasts longer. It's tougher uh, because grade 5 titanium is, you can actually harden it, and you, you do harden it to a certain extent by doing that style of anode. So hopefully you heard that. I think you probably could. I want to get into and knowing Thai. So this is introducing me to it. Yeah, nice Neville. Or Neville. Uh, however you say it. Reading can be hard sometimes. Tariq, you said I'm retired so it doesn't really me make a di Oh, I, th I thought you were still working and because I feel like there's been uh, times in the past that you said you got to get up early and get some work done and stuff on uh, some of our lives or something in the past, but I could be thinking of somebody else. Neville, nice. Uh, just living the retired life, doing it to him, right? <laughs> Malibu what's that oh right it's that knife I won't have for another five years when everyone finally gets tired of it <sighs> no no not right now eggs actually it, it's not even filled I'm waiting for my husband and I don't want to die on stream I told you I'm going to haunt the shit out of you if I cough like I have in the past. Ah, gotcha. So you just ba basically focus on the leather work stuff, Tariq. Maybe once they realize not one Malibu is ground evenly. Huh. Did Steve say that? No. Oh. Bugsy did. Okay. Yeah, he was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> 
You were forced to retire at 50. Lucky, Shane. Although you probably are going stir crazy, huh? <laughs> One minute said Bugsy. You are correct, actually. Stop crying. What the? About Malibu? the. Yeah. Yeah. I only sent you. I, I will use it. I'm scared. You don't understand. <laughs> and if I don't, Justin will. But thank you for sending it. I'll get there. I'm just being a baby about it. We sold our railway construction company, forced me into retirement. Ah, gotcha. All right. I'm wondering if we may be better off Ooh, maybe, to go Michael. The, the darker blue or lighter blue. We can try it. What? Pick one that's lower on there. Cause I feel like we're the, between these parts. They're just different enough that it's okay. Like, so I'm because these are um, yeah. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's do like a like a okay. So mid mid let's high thirty. Let's go thirty three first. Let's see what it looks like. Thirty-three. Ah, Shane. Yeah, my dad had a quadruple bypass, and my mom had a triple bypass back in the day. You like that? Yep. Okay. So that was thirty-three volts. Let's see if we can get the backspacer to match it at thirty-three. I can lift that out of the stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. Okay. Compare them. Hold them yeah, under the light better. I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now well, hopefully we can get the. You leaving, Greg? We'll see the, you later. Uh, pivot collars to match this. So we're just going to go at this 33 volts here. Do your rehab and listen to the doctor, Shane. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. More, that's more better, guys. That's more better. I like a lot. That doesn't look like very good, very tasty soup. That. All yeah. right. So I'll now give we're you a dollar go, if you drink one, Big Red. Now we're gonna go. I'm gonna, and we'll go darker on these, right? We're gonna go like it right in here. Yeah, but. But what? That's what those are. Like we went to 28 or something. 33 is what I just did. So like sky blue and not oh. dark blue. Jody Bear. <laughs> There's a bunch of people leaving, um, and I'm sure they're like, oh my god, energizing takes forever. Yeah, everybody's bailing out, huh? Oh, not, not I mean, it's, it's not terrible. Two of the bypasses well, failed. Well, start talking and entertain them. Dance, I, monkey, dance. I, uh, 
You're pretty late, Archie. Um, two of the bypasses failed. I'm alive but limited, and my chest plate won't grow back together, so that sucks. Oh, wow, Shane. You had a rough go of it, eh? What do you want me to do to entertain you while he's doing these things? I don't dance, and I'm not a monkey like he suggested. So... You know. Sniper story? Oh, sniper. <laughs> Two sniper story requests. Well. So this one time. Sing the national anthem. I'm not. You don't want to hear me sing. I'm only good in the car. Um, there was this one time that um at band camp at band camp where um this nasty little bitch <laughs> she tried to um hit on my my trumpet playing boyfriend and i was like nah fam no nah. i played the clarinet you know and uh little did she know my clarinet it transitioned into a sniper rifle and so when I was chilling with my homies up on the roof of the auditorium and hanging out and I look over the side of the auditorium and this bitch is all over my boyfriend over with another group of kids. Well, luckily I had my clarinet sniper rifle. Thank the Lord. And I had to just go ahead and pop one off. I had to take care of it. And then I ran, and they never caught me, because, you know, I'm a sniper. And I'm, you know, employed by higher bodies. So I got all that protection. Thank God I'm back here. <laughs> There's more shit being spewed over here than you can shake a stick at. Don't make me go get my internet. <laughs> yeah, right. Your trumpet-playing boyfriend. <laughs> I never dated anybody in the band. No. And I was never in band camp. Okay. I got you. <laughs> Shame. True story, folks. Yep. What's my sniper? Well, I mean, which one? Because I have a Lopua, but I also have a low Puma. <laughs> <laughs> the low Puma. <laughs> I have many, many pieces, in fact. Wait, so you were undercover at this band camp? Well, yeah, kind of. And because this girl, she was like, um, like, like Putin's great niece. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Over here, she was actually like a so, counter terrorist. Yeah, so this was the great uh, Eastern European band camp. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that. No, went. she came over here to go to our band camp, acting like an American, but she really wasn't. She was Putin's. Great niece, undercover, but also hitting on my boyfriend. Gotcha. Do those look the same? I can't really tell from here. Um, Does the one I'm on need to be a little darker? A little, just a tiny bit. Let's see what I can do here. Tell me when. Maybe a touch more. Stop there. Right there? Yeah. Can we take them out and check them? Yeah. The true patriot. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. 
My husband doesn't call me a true patriot, but you do. Yeah, I think they're really, really close. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's just the lack of all the holes in this one that make <laughs> it look different. Because if you look at just like here, they look the same. Oh, thank you, Winchester. So, yeah, I think we're going to roll with that. Speaking of rifles, okay. anyone else checking out the whole kinetic stuff? Okay. Now, let me get this out of here now. Oh, Tariq's getting a 940 tomorrow. Nice. Wonderful. That's a good one. Personally, I like the 943 <laughs> better. I How'd just you... like the blade shape better. Mm. How'd it's you know, Todd? <laughs> same handle, but... Guys in high school missed out on band chicks. They were the best. True that. I didn't miss out. <laughs> you guys, I married the biggest hoe in the world. I'm pretty sure. Please send help. I'm a pure lady, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop lying to those people. <laughs> Just FYI, the Kaiser horn is fidgety AF. No joke. Old dad over here did a whole lot of fidgeting with it when it came, when we first got one. The horn? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Kaiser horn is a good one for sure. <laughs> nice. Enjoy, Tariq. You'll have to have to tell us all about it next weekend. Me too pure, like the driven slush. <laughs> What's up? What's so funny? Nothing. How's it looking? I think it looks okay. Let me dry these off. And then it's going to be time to lose the gloves and assemble it and see what she looks like all together. A horn polisher from way back. <laughs> <laughs> the old horn polisher. Yeah. MC has a mall crawler Jeep. Oh, yeah. It's a Jeep thing. You wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah. I'll never <laughs> he's, understand. Yeah, he's that's that's a mall crawler. It's all jacked up, got lights all over it, and, you know. Does he got, really? I, who knows? Oh. I don't know. I don't know if he drives one of those or not, but it wouldn't yeah. it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. <laughs> well, he, and has, the, the, and, he and, has said, like, check on the dog the, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh but, like, at best, it sees about six feet of gravel, like, in one of the driveways where it has a gravel approach before it turns to concrete. That's, like, the most off-roading that thing will ever do. Yeah, right. Okay. I need to grab. MC opened up the knife OCD for EDC sent in this past week. The Spider Co. Salt? Yep. You sent him a knife? I sent, yeah, I sent him a couple. Yeah, to check out. Yeah. Nice. You played saxophone, Jason? Nice. Yeah, I played clarinet for like the total of one year in grade school. I think it was probably fifth grade. And I just was like, yeah, you know what? Um, I'm I'm good. Okay. So here's the blade. Uh, it's called a mobile command unit. <laughs> for this uh, Kaiser Critical. And I uh, tried to maintain uh, the uh, lettering and stuff on the blade, the original laser etching. It's not as dark as what it was, uh, but I did... Uh, uh, this blade originally had a stone wash on it, although it wasn't very 
great. Um, and so I'm just um, wiping it off here, but so I tank. added a hole that's the same diameter as the holes that I put, uh, I enlarged the holes and made them the same diameter. So this matches all the holes in the show side scale. Uh, this has got an edge back on it <laughs> and there's the stone wash that I put on it. Uh, I've kind of perfected my, my stone wash uh, media that I'm using. Uh, so I've tested and played around with a bunch of different things to get a, the stone wash that I'm looking for. We almost got an FJ Cruiser back in the day, Tariq, and I kind of regret not getting it. Yeah, I do too, because those things appreciated in value tremendously. Yeah, that's what he's got, and he loves it. Yeah, it's a good one. What do you use to sharpen your knives? Uh, diamond stones. Uh, I've got multiple different uh, ways to sharpen, and uh, it just depends on how big of a hurry I'm in, uh, whether or not I use a fixed angle system or if I freehand, and the, the kind of mood I'm in. But either way, I've got diamond stones. So I've got some uh, DMT uh, diamond stones. Dang, you matched the whole size? Hmm, I applaud that kind of matchy-matchiness, sir. <laughs> yeah, I did. I really did. That stone wash looks nice as fuck. Thank you, thank you. KME with the diamond plates. What fixed angle system you use? Uh, I've got, uh, it's really kind of a hodgepodge of uh, parts and pieces. It's kind of a homemade setup, I guess, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the KME setup. I mean, it's okay, but I don't like the four inch stones uh, and so I would rather use if I'm going to do fixed angle something I'm going to use uh, uh, something that's got six inch by one inch uh, stones at least that um, and so yeah I just uh, the KME that the handle thing on it's all stupid and backwards and and you're like like this I'd rather you know how it is. I'd rather take long strokes. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> so. Is Joe Rogan here? Why would he be? No, Joe Rogan is not here. Um, not sure why. Unless, yeah. hey, Joe Rogan, are you here? What's up, my dude? Um, how long have you been into doing knife mods? Oh, boy. I, um... Like, I mean, legitimately doing knife mods? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. And, yeah th I don't know, three, four years? Uh, mm -hmm. Something like that, maybe? Um, and, uh, but I mean, I've always been uh, extremely mechanical and, like, building engines. And, and I've been a welder and a fabricator since I was literally a little kid. Uh, my... Father owned a union pipe fitting company, and I started out welding when I was real little. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I've worked with metal my whole entire life, uh, as well as anything that burned hydrocarbons. So, mm -hmm. there's a couple hydrocarbon things in uh, our yard. If you you're in the market, get them out <laughs> of my yard. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's real dumb, so don't listen to words she says. <laughs> uh, um, how do you do your spidey holes? Dremel with carbide bit? Uh, well, kind of, sort of. Uh, I don't use a Dremel. Um, I use uh, uh, air tools, uh, so like quarter-inch die grinder uh, with you know, quarter inch, uh, basically just, just a large Dremel. Uh, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're not going to get any more SD talking. 
he who shall not be named. Not really. It's not like that. No. Yeah. It's just not worth. Uh, yeah. Whatever. He's a big boy. He's going to have to take care of his own shit. Uh, yep. So. Um, somebody had a question that I. I meant to go back to, but then like a bunch of comments came and threw me off my game, you guys. Threw you off your game? Mm hmm. Have you checked out the new Venev stones they have? Four inch Venev. and whatever. And two inch stones that look pretty awesome. Gotcha. Oh, um, have you checked them out? No, no, I have not. I have not used them. I've used uh, just like the, I think they're like eight by fours or something. Uh, or yeah, eight by threes. I don't know. The freehand stones, that, the Venev stones. Uh, they're nice. Um but honestly, uh, you know, to me, um, you can get every bit as good an edge and whatnot uh, with spending a hell of a lot less money. Uh, so, you know, the only way it makes sense to me to buy that kind of stuff is if you're doing, um, uh, you know, doing it for a living or you're, you're sharpening a tremendous amount of knives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh and you know, to each their own. Like if you're if you're all into sharpening and that's your thing, yeah, it depends uh, on your setup and your desire. Yeah, by all means, uh, you know, go for it, have fun, and enjoy it. Um, and I, you know, I enjoy sharpening. Uh, the real thing is, is I just don't have enough time uh, to sit down and, and really do it a whole bunch. Time is a problem. Uh, yeah, time is a problem. Um, and so it's just it's difficult to. Uh, uh, to do that when you're, yeah, it just, it just, it's very time consuming, uh, to do that. So what's your favorite grind? Um, uh, hollow grind. Yeah. I like, I like really, really, uh, well done deep hollow grinds. Norman, there's videos, um, on our channel and then also on his uh and then you might check out steve super chef well what is super steels uh on youtube he's super steel steve and then on instagram i think he's at chef kalari if you check out all that you'll get the gist oh he's at you know, gotcha yeah. Yeah. Um, the Olympic flame is now out. I repeat, Oh, really? This just in. <laughs> this just in. Favorite steel to sharpen and least favorite to sharpen. Um Honestly, that really kind of depends on uh, it, it's not just the steel across the board because it depends on on how the heat treat's done. What's up, Night um, I don't like it when steels are gummy on the stones, if that makes any sense or if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I just, yeah, not a fan. It uh, drives me nuts. And so, you know, you could have uh, several different... Uh, of the exact same steel, but it be heat treated differently, and therefore it reacts differently on the stones. Um, I'm just not a fan of of gummy steel. You missed all the anoing. I love knives, all of it. The good thing is, the harder the better. Yeah, for the most part, uh, it just really depends on what you're doing with it. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, obviously for edge retention, you know, uh, Steve actually has got a lot of videos out there talking about HRC, uh, and how that correlates directly to edge retention and, and it most certainly does. So even though you have, you know, composition of a steel, what's up, uh, man? certainly, uh, matters, um, the heat treat in all reality probably matters more um night jason See than the you composition later. you could end up with uh, later on jason have a good night man what rockwell do you like 
uh, well, I mean, again, it depends on the steel because uh, all steels are capable of different rock wells, but, um, uh, you know, if we're talking, you know, just uh, standard, you know, standard stuff, you know, I'm going to say like 14C28N is one of, one of my favorite steels. I've, that's one of the reasons why I kind of gravitated towards uh, Tucson stuff right from the very beginning. Uh, was because while well, you know all the other budget companies were doing D2 and 8CR, uh, Tucson was doing 14C, which I just think is a much better steel, especially in the budget world. Um, but it, uh, you know, a 14C that's you know really really high 50s, uh, you know, close to oh shit. Uh, close to uh, 60, you know, 59 and a half, something like that uh, would be fantastic. Uh, but of course, you know, if we're talking something like, you know, K390, um, you know, like high 60s, you know, 67, 68, something like that. And if we're talking, you know, Maximet. Oz Spider Co. Oz Spider Co. O Z Z. I uh, have the Super Freak, not too shabby. Maybe they're. I oh, they're talking to somebody else. Sorry. Oh okay. I, was um, say, I don't know what that means. Have you sharpened the Sandrine yet? Uh no no I I had the Sandrine uh uh Torino uh for a little while but that was not actually my knife that belonged to Nick Stasa. Nice harvest. Uh, he just let me uh, borrow it and check it out for a little while. Uh, but it was very, very cool, and, you know, that tungsten carbide um, is very awesome, but no, I did not sharpen the tungsten carbide. Uh, it wasn't my knife, and, um, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, real questions here. It's okay. coming from Winchester, so you know it's going to be good. Gotcha. If you had a cast, had to cast a movie version of yourself, what actress would you choose to play you and Molly? Um, honestly, I mean, I feel like I feel like we have really good sense of humor, so uh, it'd have to be somebody funny. Um, you know, like I honestly, don't know. What do you think? Mm. Who would play you in a movie? Um, Maybe like Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn would play me. Me, me. <laughs> obviously. Vince Vaughn, yeah, maybe. I'd I rather feel got a good sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And, you know, yeah, I mean, let's be honest, him. I'm not like Brad Pitt or anything, and I don't necessarily think that he's that, like, uh, you know, he doesn't fall into the category of sexiest man alive. And Larry I'm, the I'm Cable not, Guy would I'm make not a good making... Justin. <laughs> what? I'm not a fucking hillbilly. That's what Egg said. That's what Egg said? Fuck you, Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bruce Willis for I, Justin. He's I, actually I, funny. I don't walk around going... Oh, by God, y'all see them some bitches out there? Get her done. <laughs> Dwight Yoakam and Elizabeth Hurley? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, so we got larger holes on the critical. Uh, we've got a different color in those holes. Uh, you can kind of see the OCD for EDC logo inside there. Uh, but there's the critical with the rounded off butt, so it's much, much nicer. All the edges have been rounded off a little bit, uh, more than stock, just to soften all the edges. And now you can uh, Spidey flick this old girl. So, what do you guys think of that? Are you digging it? Oh, our son's now, finally here. Is he here? Yeah, finally. Uh, he doesn't love us anymore. Yes, rounded butts are nicer. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that was one of my... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels really good in hand. 
this the back of this was just sharp and just uncomfortable uh, before. Mm -hmm. People be digging it. Yeah, I'm digging it. What do you think, hun? <clears throat> Get it out of here. So. No, put your hand back. <laughs> Oh, no. You failed it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Jesus Christ. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, a little peek of that. I'm going to see it real quick. I might have uh, the pivot too tight. Oh, yeah. It's probably That's too That's why tight. it was him, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Farley would have made a good Justin. There you go. Yeah. Farley. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. This thing I... is like, yeah, it's gonna be a guillotine. What's old girl McCartney? Melissa McCartney yeah, or Melissa she's, McCarthy? She is funny. Yeah, she is. She um, is funny. And also, we're both fat, so that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not that fat though. Let's let's be honest. Okay, okay. Well, like Melissa, I like well, Melissa she's McCarthy. Really funny. <laughs> she is really funny. Yes. Yeah, but she's that's a big girl. Molly Shannon for. Molly, I don't know. So, I kind of like Molly Shannon, but she's also a little too sophomoric for me. When she did that whole, uh, I can't remember the the superstar. And yeah, that was it, pretty great. When I get real nervous, yeah. I put my hands in my armpits. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and sniff them like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. And then, I'm not, like, totally anti her at all. Yeah, like, and, I'm not saying that. And then when she, she, I can't remember the name of the other character, but she played the, like, drunker, older woman that would, like, always kick her legs 50. up. <laughs> yeah, 50. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking great. Yeah, that was so good. Oh, speaking of Saturday Night Live, Molly just showed me, I don't even, was that a TikTok that you showed me? The yeah. man home tools? Yeah. Uh, With Jason Momoa. Oh my God, I fucking love that. <laughs> <laughs> so she showed me, you know, a, a Saturday Night Live is just super hit or miss on whether or not that's even funny. Uh, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> that it's just, uh, yeah, just, they're just not funny very often anymore, but... With that being Sometimes said, Sometimes they hit it perfectly. Yeah. And so they they've got some like skid out with uh uh making man home tool or like uh uh appliances, appliances, like the dishwasher and whatnot. It's pretty comical. Where is Mikey? What the hell? Um Michael Morgan says Polly Shore and Pat for Myth's Pat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pat. Oh, <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. Yeah. I loved Pat. Yeah, same. And I love Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. Oh, yeah. Deep Thoughts was great. Yeah, the older and... cast were better for sure. So we're in agreement. Molly, Shannon, it is. <laughs> uh, I wonder how Pat would be uh, uh, received today. Nah, you have that poncho, whatever. How, what? do you, how do you think Pat would be received today? In our, uh, in oh, our, not in, not at in, all. In our gender fluid times. No, it would not be. You allowed. don't think so? You you think people would not find the humor in Pat? No, because that it's laughing at the expense of the anonymity, you know, and they that would not be. No, you can't laugh at that. But but they're from I mean, Jack Black's. This. SNL's from New York. They're woke as it gets. They're the ones that did it. It's different times. Dad. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Huh. Weird. Justin could be But nobody cast... can't they didn't cancel themselves. I don't understand. Yeah. Could be cast as Jason Alexander. What the fuck? <laughs> he's just he's just a short little whiny bitch. Right. Like, I mean, you know, I mean I kinda <laughs> think he's funny, but I've got a fever and it can only be cured by more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> more cowbell, yes. <laughs> I need more cowbell. Too many people's heads would explode from feelings. That is a fat cue ball. My shvetty balls. Shvetty balls. <laughs> mm, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's really great. That's a nice ball. That's a great shvetty ball. When I put your balls in my mouth. How about Jonah Hill for Justin? 
He's pretty funny. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Like, maybe... Uh, Stop Seth, deleting my comments on your vids. Seth Rogen? Mark? Oh, okay. You're talking to Mark uh, Lefty. Okay. Yeah, Seth Rogen. So, so, somebody's deleting? I, no, no. I was going to say, we don't ever delete any comments, period. No. Marco was telling Lefty to stop deleting comments on your vids or something. I, I, I don't know. It's Whatever. not. I don't care. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, what up, Lefty? How you yeah. boy? Good, bad, or indifferent, we don't delete shit. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> now that's fucking funny. My dick in a box, babe. <laughs> it's my dick in a box. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. <laughs> don't you ever forget. <laughs> That's, I'm on a boat and I live it. That's and that's on my phone. Like that's in my iTunes. I rock that shit in my car <laughs> with T Pain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we got an edge on this bitch because it didn't before. Oh well, what the hell? I don't know, Marco. What's that? Maybe he was making a joke. Oh. Um, Lefty said he was. He doesn't delete stuff either. So oh, okay. Were you just joking, Marco? Debbie Downer at Disney World. That was epic. When For Jimmy sure. Fallon lost wah, it, wah, wah. loved it. <laughs> She's like, I can't even remember like something about miscarriages. Yes. But like it was yeah, that was so funny. Yeah. Lonely Planet is the best. Yeah, there's these epic skits that they've had over the years, like with oh the, yeah, the spam for sure. The, Delete that crap. The Jimmy Fallon, uh, uh, when they were in the hot tub with Will Ferrell, and Will Ferrell was like the the college professor. With you remember that scene? Yeah, I don't remember who it was. Jimmy Fallon and someone, and then Will Ferrell and that Rachel Dratch or whatever. Uh huh. And they just they were like at a hotel. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. I do remember God, that. that. Skit yeah. was hilarious. Censorship. Yeah, Lonely Island. There you go. The Lonely Island. Planet. Yeah. Um, All right. Let's see what we got going here. If we got an edge on this biatch. All right. Celebrity Jeopardy is pretty funny. Yes. Jane, you ignorant slut. Uh, It'd be acceptable today. No, it wouldn't. No, yeah. but but that was funny as shit. We are still live, Zach, but we're nearing the end. Oh, I still got a burr there that needs to be taken off for sure. Hmm. It felt better than that, but it's going to need some, some uh, stropping here before I send this old girl out. Uh, just a little FYI. I don't see one sitting right here. If you, uh, you want... A good uh, tool for sharpening. Best tool. or Well, maybe not the best tool. But second to the actual stones uh, for sharpening is a good flashlight. Because you can look at an edge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. I shouldn't even have tested it because there's a big-ass burr on there. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Zach's back. He made it home. Couple bumps, but good times. <laughs> Couple bumps, but good times. You didn't get stuck in any parking spots, huh? Right Did on. Did you... How was the game, Zach? Did you guys have fun? Hopefully you did. who they play for preseason? High school. <laughs> Seattle High. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Got stomped. Right. All right. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Peters. So, this knife here is sold after doing the... Uh, the detent uh, lightning on it and whatnot, but since we got the the sharpness tester out, oh, they just oh. scrimmaged today. Oh, sc scrimmage! Oh, gotcha. I thought, I, yeah, okay. Training camp, got it. Right I, I could have swore I heard on the news that preseason games were starting this weekend, but I, who knows? I could have misheard for sure. So let's see see what we're working with here. What it do, bitches? What it do, Dub Glock? What it is. What it is. Yeah. Biatches. Hell yeah. Right on. So, yeah. Uh, how many people are still in here? 
73. 73. So if you guys weren't around in the beginning when we first started uh, this live stream, uh, we actually are uh, brand new uh, Tucson dealers. Uh, we placed our first order, uh, first stocking order, and it is en route. Uh, so, you know, uh, right now the stuff that we have on order is all the kind of latest uh, cool stuff or what I consider to be the cool stuff from uh, Tucson. So if you're interested in any two sons, uh, you can hit us up in the email and we can, you know, uh, tell you what we have on order. Uh, basically, the, the stuff that we have on this particular order is all the stuff that's been released from them in like the last couple months. So it's most of the 300, late 200 numbers and, and 300 number models. Oh, funny. So if you guys are interested and want to hit us up, uh, feel free. But, uh, yeah, should be good. Yeah, it's good stuff. Excited about that. You guys know that I love me some two sons. They're fantastic. Indeeds. Indeeds. Right on. Well, it's 930. That's normal quitting time. Yeah, I didn't take Are anything we... because I'm taking my fucking ball and I'm going home. <laughs> Yeah, just because you're getting your ass whooped. No, actually, they tried to get me to take stuff, but like, there really there wasn't anything out there. It was just sanitizing stuff. Right on. Well, uh, so for any of the people, if anyone that's out there watching that saw your knife on here, like this one, uh, I, I saw it, Lefty. I'm pretty sure the guy that bought this is in the live, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm I, I was pretty sure, sure he is. He anyway, was earlier anyway. Uh, this will be shipped out tomorrow, along with uh, several other things. Uh, there are actually a whole bunch of things. Do you have any two sun slip joints? Excuse me, yawn. Um, I have a couple right now. I think. Um, I, I would have to go and look. <laughs> I honestly can't remember off the top of my said, head. Touch the bowl again. <laughs> Give that. Uh, oh, sparks. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty confident that I have, uh, maybe two or three, uh, two sun slip, slip joints. Uh, but I would have to go and look. Uh, I don't have them out here. Yeah. But if there's a two sun model that you're looking at in particular, uh, you can send us an email and we can order anything. Yeah. And we might uh, have some on hand that. Yeah, we, we very well might. Uh, we do have a significant number we of brand new two suns in stock. Many. Too uh, many knives so. at all. <laughs> Send me an email. I'll sell them all. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> lying through her tooth. I have more than one tooth. <laughs> I'm going to fucking bite you with my tooth in a uh -huh, minute. Uh-huh, <laughs> But, you know, you can get, uh, you know, like uh, folding kukri. Two sons, like that one right there. Ting Zach, you went live on Friday. I was wondering why I didn't see you live today. Because he was at the game. I told you that the other day. I forgot. <laughs> you can spidey flick it with the uh, holes in here. Sweet hollow grind. It's a cool one. It's a beast. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> Are you done? Are you uh, still beating your lip? Does it? fucking sound like i'm beating my lip <laughs> great live guys thanks justin and molly great thank you so much guys yeah thanks for um all the support yeah you thanks. 10 out of 10 beaches can you please stock hollow taco my daughter <laughs> wants some after seeing your live oh ian how i wish i could <laughs> well it so it just doesn't work that way yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know how any of that works. Just go to hollowtaco.com. You just buy it straight from there. It's Shopify. It's from Hollow Taco. It's in here in the States. It's made in the States. There 10 you go. Out of 10. There you go. Hollowtaco.com. So, uh, Not a sponsor. if, if Semper Fi's in here, uh, this will be sent out to you tomorrow, sir. Uh, and we greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you really enjoy this. I really dig it. Uh, the action on this thing is, yeah, it's just like a guillotine. Ooh, Sean, email us about that, um, and we will see what we can do. This thing just falls. Uh, Otherwise, I'll forget. Sorry, Sean, because yeah. I'm, you know, a little mm, special. Action is fantastic on this, and <laughs> it's, 
the detent on it's a little bit light uh, with the flipper tab, but it needs to be light to do the uh, spidey flicking, which works perfectly. Uh, so <laughs> I will, eggs. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, just uh, you know, finishing up mod work, and yeah, should be. Yeah, I like it. I need to strop it a little bit, but uh, we'll get that done tonight, and this thing will be off to its new owner tomorrow, along with, uh, like I said, a whole bunch of other packages are shipping out tomorrow. Oh, nice. Does Lefty have the bugs? Oh, no. He has bugs? Yeah, nasty. Yeah, maybe. Of what kind? Does he have the... Bots. The what? Flies. Oh, Gotcha. He needs horse dewormer. Horse dewormer? <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I have to order hollow taco since the word is out. Yeah, get it, Zach. Get your wife some. Get your wife some hollow taco. You don't love your wife unless you get them hollow. <laughs> Molly absolutely needs to sign up for this hollow affiliate program from the way it looks here. I'll look into that. Yeah, yeah. Because she's out there repping it like no other. I just love it. It's just quality freaking polish. And it's gorgeous. Right on. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, <gasps> thanks so much for all your support. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, we got lots of new stuff coming. So hopefully you'll enjoy all that. And, yeah, you got anything else to say? We love you. We love you long time. We love you long time. I love you long time. Five dollar. Oh, <laughs> shit. We're going to hell. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, hope everyone has a wonderful week this week. And uh, we'll see you back here uh, next Sunday. And I'm not really sure exactly what time we'll go. Probably be close to the original time, but we'll see. Uh, we'll put a post out or talk about it. And we'll, yeah, I don't know what will happen. But yeah, we'll either way, it. we're still going to be doing our live on Sunday evenings. Yeah. So that I can guarantee you. So anyway, thanks so much. Uh, hope everybody has a wonderful week this week. And peace. Peace. We go. Bye.